While many people are enjoying a hot meal with their loved ones today, hundreds of first responders are sacrificing their Thanksgiving dinner with family. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila tells us how their huge feast is commemorating 18 years of giving back to first responders in the Roanoke Valley. Lining up behind Wildwood Smokehouse, dozens of volunteers open their trunks to deliver food to first responders. When they have to be away from their families on Thanksgiving Day, it gives them an opportunity to be able to celebrate and enjoy a good meal. Fellowship Community Church volunteers packed bread as the owners of the barbecue restaurant rolled out the main course. Wildwood Smokehouse had to prepare a huge feast. I'm talking about nearly 30 turkeys, 40 quarts each of green beans, mac and cheese, potato salad, all to feed 700 first responders. It's a tradition the church started 18 years ago called Operation Turkey Drop. But for the past 11 years, the restaurant owners have made the kind gesture their yearly priority. They're the ones keeping us safe, especially on days like today with families in town and a bunch of um, traffic and, you know, everybody doing their part. So we thought this was our part to give back to them. Thank you. Cape Spring Volunteer Fire Department was one of the 38 locations that received a box of goodies. Captain Brandon Shepard says it's an act of kindness they don't ever see. Well, it means a lot. It means that someone appreciates the fact that we are here and that we're taking time away from our families. The restaurant also made 500 sandwiches to hand out to dispatchers, health care workers, and rescue workers this week. In Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you.